there, it's Lorraine with Crafty Therapy by Elle. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. I make bows and wreaths and personalized gifts using the Cricut and some vinyl. I have lots of videos on how to make a wreath from start to finish and bows. Generally, I use my Easy Bow Maker. I just moved it, excuse me. I'm just gonna pull us up on the computer screen, make sure up. Oh, let's see, I think I am, I'm gonna leave it right now. Let's see if I have sound. I'll leave it right now. Okay. So today I have an order, an Etsy order for a bow a bee themed bow. So I figured I would come live and get that done. As you come on, say hi. Let me know if you're new here. Let me know if you are a wreath maker, if you make bows. So what I'm doing is I'm using my Deluxe Easy Bow Maker. You can find these um, at any of, most of the local craft stores will have it, as well as um, Amazon. It's the easiest bow maker to use, I find. So I have the other bow makers, the Bodabra, the Pro Bow the Hand, um, but I always come back to this one. It's just, it's a, it's a thin, lightweight, um, simple tool to use. So I always come back to this one. Um, I'm working on a self-healing mat, and I use that because uh, the bow maker only goes up to eight inches. So I use it to extend for the ruler for my tails. I'll be using some wired ribbon, always um, wired ribbon. This is a two and a half inch one. This is a one and a half inch one and another one and a half inch one. So let's get started. So like I said, this is a an order that I got from my Etsy shop today which is craftytherapybyl.etsy.com if you're interested in seeing what I have available. Bees have been very popular in my shop lately and this year. Bees seem to have been a, a popular theme as well as lemons the, that seem to be coming back for 2024 for spring and summer. So anything farmhouse is still hot. So I'm making about a six inch loop on each side. And I'm gonna be doing two loops on each side for this particular ribbon. It's important that you use wired ribbon so that it really stands up and holds its shape. Use quality ribbon, it's gonna make a difference in your final project. So this is about a 10 inch tail. So I'm measuring them up, making sure that they're about the same length. Thank you for the hearts, I appreciate it. Next I'm gonna come in with this yellow Swiss dot ribbon. This is a nice thick canvas ribbon. And I'm putting it in between the fingers and I'm making sure that my tail is about the same length. And I'm gonna be a little bit shorter than the last one. About a half an inch shorter from the last set of loops. And I stagger that down so that you can see all of the patterns nicely once it's all fluffed out. So I only need one loop of this one. Excuse my hands, I have um, paint all over them. I was painting this morning um, over the fence plant hangers. My, sell, my son sells those, he makes them in our uh, workshop and sells them in his Etsy shop as well as mine. And I'm the one that does the painting. So I usually wear some of it. 
So now I have this really pretty buffalo check and it's got the bees and the daisies on it. Perfect for spring, summer, and fall. And then this one is going to have two loops on each side. I don't see any comments. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I am happy to answer them. I don't see any comments coming up. Sometimes it takes the feet a little bit of time to catch up, so. Mm -hmm. So this is gonna be two loops and you can see I have come in about another half an inch from the yellow. These bows are great. You can put them on an existing wreath that you already have. Um, they're great to just add to a greenery wreath or a burlap wreath. Just switch out your bow for whatever holiday or season it is. You can add these to the top of a lantern. That's also popular, especially those big, big beautiful lanterns that you put on the porch. You can add them to a gift basket. If you have like a bridal shower that's bee themed or daisy themed or orange, lemon themed, whatever it is, you can find a bow to attach to a beautiful gift basket. So now I'm gonna spread out my loops, one up, one down. One up, one down. The yellow is gonna stay in the middle and you can see I'm fluffing out the loops, putting my fingers in there and just rounding it out. And if you get your bow after shipping and it's a little flattened, you would just do the same thing. You just put your fingers in there and round out the loops. People put these on baskets, like if you have a basket of blankets or hand towels, you can just attach it. So I'm taking an eight inch zip tie. I'm coming underneath and up the middle. I prefer using a zip tie. You can also use pipe cleaners or wire. I just find that the zip tie, it holds very well. I can make it really tight. And then I just add in my pipe cleaner and that's how my customer will attach it to its forever home. Okay. So I'm just going to do a final fluff. I'm taking from the middle and really giving them a nice pull and curve. And I can do that because I've made that bow really tight using the zip tie. So very pretty, nice summery farmhouse look. And the final thing that what I need to do is to just trim the edge and I put a little angle to it just to give it that final touch. Same thing on the other side, going in the opposite direction. And that's it. So that's one bow done. This I will ship out on Monday morning. And I'm gonna do one more bow while I have you. This one is not listed in my Etsy shop yet, but it will be because it's gonna be a new design that we're gonna do today. So I have these beautiful ribbons. Sunflowers are always popular. And then the combination of the yellow and the mossy green and the buffalo check, I think it's gonna be a winner. So I'm gonna start with this one. Nice quality, heavy canvas ribbon. Again, I'm gonna make about a 10 inch tail. I wish I can see. Yeah, it looks like we have a bunch of people on. Welcome. 
going to make a, about a six inch loop on each side. If you've never joined me before, I usually go live during the week, usually in the morning when my kids are at school and the house is a little bit more quiet. Right now they're off on a little day trip and they'll be back in about an hour or so. Um, so I normally don't get to come on live on the weekends, so I took the chance while I had it. But you can go back and look at all my other lives and my videos. I have lots of step-by-step -step videos on bow making and wreath making, some vinyl work using my Cricut. So this one, I'm gonna do three loops on each side. And this one, once I get all the pictures taken, I will list this one in my Etsy shop. I think this is gonna be great for summer and fall. And I have lots of different seasonal bows, everyday bows, seasonal wreaths. Patriotic, like Memorial Day, 4th of July, all of that's in there. I also make lots of personalized gifts for weddings and graduations. Those are very popular right now. My son does woodworking and he has a bunch of things listed. He has, um, very popular is his over the PVC fence plant hangers. So it slides right on top of the PVC fence. You don't need to make any holes and you can hang those big, beautiful plants from it. So a little bit shorter than the last set of ribbons and I'm going to do two of this beautiful green polka dot. He also sells charcuterie boards and high-end beautiful wood cutting boards. Okay, look at how pretty that, that looks together. Okay, so next we're gonna come in with this beautiful yellow. This is a one and a half inch ribbon. going to do one loop of this one and that's bringing the yellow back up front from the sunflower You can also use these kind of bows for Christmas tree toppers or tree toppers. My other son has a Christmas tree up all year long and um, he changes it out for the season. So right now he just switched over to Patriotic. So I made one of these big beautiful bows and we put it on the top of his tree as like the tree topper. It's very cute. Does anybody else keep up a Christmas tree? I've seen, um, I have another customer that does that also, a smaller scale version of a Christmas tree and in the summertime she changes it out for sunflowers and she puts tons of sunflowers. It looks so beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
So two loops of this beautiful buffalo check, buffalo plaid, sunflower wreath, um, wreath, ribbon. I got a little piece that's hanging off here. Okay, so now what we need to do is fluff it out. So I'm going one up, one down, one up, one down, and I'm leaving that one in the middle, one up, one down, I'm spreading it out. You could see how quickly this bow just filled out. And you can see that's why I staggered the lengths. So I have my sunflower, I've got this green, I've got the yellow, and you can see all the patterns, right? Okay, now that that looks good, it's fluffed out. Let's see, I had another zip tie and it walked away. I'm gonna grab another one. So again, eight inch zip tie, coming underneath all the layers and up the middle. So if you're finding this helpful, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. That way you get a notification when I post new videos or go live. You can come back and find me easy. Okay, I can get rid of the bow maker. I'm gonna slide that to the back gently. I'm gonna take my pipe cleaner. Go about halfway, and I'm gonna cinch it nice and tight. That way, these loops are not going anywhere. Again, you can use wire, you can use pipe cleaners instead of the zip tie, but I am most confident using my zip tie, so. Going through all the layers, smoothing them out, giving them a nice curve. Making sure my loops are standing at attention. And this is beautiful ribbon, so it reshapes very nicely. If you store them flat in, say, a, an Amazon box or a shoe box, you can easily reshape them every time you take it out by just doing this. Isn't that pretty? And you can see how the green is pulling in the leaf of the sunflower. The yellow is pulling from the sunflowers. And then you have that just little bit of pop of the black and white. Love it. So I just need to trim up my ends. Just cut them at an angle. This is a personal preference. You can also do the dovetail. You can leave it straight, but this is how I prefer to finish off my bows. I will list, list all of the supplies that I've used down below, including my mat, the um, bow maker, the scissors, all the basics for wreath making and bow making, in my opinion. So I hope this helped. If you're interested in any of these bows, you can take a look at my Etsy shop, craftytherapybyl.etsy.com. And I hope you have a great weekend. Take care.